Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl, where I am going to be heading to Eterna City to try and take down the second gym leader, and there's Palmer's Kid. Alright, I can use uh, Rock Smash now outside of battle. Let's go, Bidoof! Let's go! We got the 2021 army right he here. I'll be unstoppable with the power of Bidoof on my side. Look at this. No rocks. No rocks can stop me. Well, except for these ones, I guess. Hey, it's a TM I'm never going to use. Alright, Turtwig, it's up to you. You can win this battle right here. I believe in you. All you have to do... Come on, crit, 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 crit. Dang. Oh, this is crit! Let's go! My reads are on point! Let's freaking go! May not have been for the knockout, but still, that was hype. That was so hype right there. I would be very happy to see a double battle right here. Let's go, it's a double battle. I'm all about this. This is this is hype. <clears throat> double battles are the best part of the game, by far. Alright, so Whooper's going down. I love my Quagsire, but I I will show no mercy to anybody on the battlefield. Oh, but... Oh, ow. Yikes. Did not like that. The good thing about having Monferno is that um, I will have an advantage against um, Mars. Because that Perugly is going to be dead. It's going to be two-hit KO. Any experience helps. The sooner I get a Gyarados, the better. I mean, a Milotic. Alright, we're going to switch out. They're going to use Fake Out. And then I get to bypass that with Mock Punch. And also because I don't get to attack this turn anyways. Oh, not even Fake Out. Okay. Totally fine. GG's. If the Team Galactic grunts weren't a complete bunch of idiots, then I would just not be able to progress here. So I guess I'm lucky that they have, like, the dumbest workforce in the history of any organization. Because of these two losers right here. Alright, I'm about to... I'm about to bring down their whole operation. It probably would have been smart to use potions before this. But hey, I mean, at least they just used Fake Out. But it would have been much worse if they used Slash. Which is what I think is coming next. Um, which, that could crit. It, it'll probably not Growl out. Oh, growl. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, Power Up Punch is going to be the play. It's not going to do a lot of damage. It's going to get me back to Neutral Attack. And there's Scratch, not Slash. That's big. We love to see it. We love to see it. Mock Punch, critical hit. Let's go, critical hit! Yeah! Ignoring those stat debuffs. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Citrus Berry? It's okay. Orange Berry? That's okay, whatever. I, I think that I am uh, brutally murdering your, your cat by punching it in the face. Big monkey punch right there. Perugly is done. Would not be shocked if they knocked out uh, Incineroar here. It would be real unfortunate if they did. And I think Grodd might have been the better play. But Incineroar has Bite, so I'm fine with it. Oh, they didn't even target me. That's good. We take those. It's crazy to me that there's a time where Bite was a normal type move. Like, I just, I can't picture that. I just don't see it. I mean, it just feels weird. So I'm going to switch to Incineroar, target Burmy, and then switch back to... Um, actually, maybe it would be the better play to keep Burmy out of it for now, because he's not a threat to me. So I want to take out Dustox and then switch out. 
I'm trying to game this so hard. Like, I might be overthinking it. But it doesn't matter because I'm having fun. Like, I, I really am enjoying this right now. <laughs> oh man, that, that hardened attack. Not not looking good for me. It, this could be game right here. I mean, it, it, it could all be over. And that, that's just not good. Not a good sign. I mean, it was only super effective. It could have been so much better. It could have been a critical hit. could have gotten the burn. I mean, that's crazy. And I love this remix of Eternal Forest theme. I, I love most of the music in this game, but I, I, I really think that Eternal Forest theme is the big winner. It's just something about it. It's just it makes me feel so happy listening to it. And it's like one of the, you know, like uh, lo-fi music to chill to, to study to or whatever. That's like it, this is the Eternal Forest theme is like the ultimate version of that. And then like the other big ones for me are like the Cantilave City theme. I love it. It's so good. And Route 216's theme is that's my favorite theme in the game still. But I just think that the new version is kind of just a side grade to the original. Like, it could go either way. Like, the original is much more upbeat. The, uh, the uh, new one sounds much more like a late game theme. But either way, it's, it's still fantastic. I love it. Which of these is the fisherman I don't want to fight? I think it's this one that has just five magic harps. So I'm not going to fight that one. Because that would just be annoying. And for almost no ex- Oh, it's this guy. I chose wrong. I had a 33% chance choosing wrong, and I chose wrong. Which, I feel like that's generally what happens when I'm offered a scenario like- if you tell me I have a 25% chance, or a 33% chance, or a 50% chance to choose wrong, I'm going to choose wrong every single time. So, like, I don't know, I'm just going to use Tackle. Because there's no point. This is a 12 minute fight. <sighs> Could it have been done in like two minutes? Yeah. But I'm I'm committed to using Magic Harp now. This is my life. I, I've I've wasted 12 minutes of my life on this fight. There, there's no going back now. I, I can't get those 12 minutes back ever again. Alright, so I get the TM for cut. I'm not going to use that, because cut is not a good move. And it's 50 damage, and that's the only effect other than that you can use it outside of battle. At least I'm fairly certain. Did they buff it at all? Yeah, no, they didn't buff it at all. It's got 95 accuracy, too. That is, like... It is an actively bad move. I... No, why would you? No, it, it just should not be available in the game. You could have made Swords Dance the the uh, the hidden move. I mean, sure, it wouldn't have been a one-to-one -one remake, but like, it would have been more interesting. Let's see if there's anything here that uh, piques my interest, though. I can't get to that item. Okay, so I just have this little area until I beat Byron. Geodude, nah, uh, no. I'm thinking more like a uh, Clefairy. If I see a Clefairy, I'll catch it. Gladly. Let's go! Yes! Oh, I'm out of tackles. Okay. That's fine. I'll just throw a Pokeball at it. I'm sure it'll catch it. 
just use the tried and true method of tapping the B button until it catches. The only the uh, tapping the B button thing is the only playground rumor that I have ever actually believed because it actually works in my experience. And I mean, look at that, Cleffa caught first try. Luma is on the team, and that means another Pokemon to level grind. You got an Onyx that I can get experience from? 219 experience. I'm liking it. An Onyx, that's going to be even better. It's going to be big, like, 350. That's what I'm guessing for Lula. That's fantastic. Alright, so we don't get the level up for Milotic. That's fine. For Luma, though, nice. Oh, Rourke, are you, did, were you hiding from me? Did I beat you that bad? I just want to find one Pokemon to add to the team so that when I have Houndoom, I'd love to add Houndoom, but I have a Fire-type already. I have Houndoom in my other Shining Pearl playthrough. It's a rare spawn. I should probably at least knock it out for the experience. Alright, that's going to be some good experience right there. That's two levels for Luma. That's insane. Alright, Milotic's evolving. For a second I forgot about Milotic and I thought, wait, is Luma evolving this early? <laughs> like, no way. I, I've seen I've seen friendship Pokemon evolve early, but never uh, never like two battled in. McGarados. It's awesome. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, Milotic. I mean, there are a ton of Onyxes in here. I could just knock them all out for a bunch of experience. Probably what I'm going to do after I catch this Rhinehorn. Alright. Got a full team, finally. That's fine, though. Especially if I can get the flinch here. Crit, nice. Ah, dang. If only I had gotten the flinch. That would have been great. That would have been, like, the most optimal play that could have happened. Alright, got the flinch anyways. That's great. Want to get it here? Let's go! Two in a row. Alright, can we make it three? Is it a hat trick? Yeah! Alright, that's awesome. One more time? Ah, dang. Three times in a row, though. That's insane. Those are some really good odds. And the crit beforehand. That was awesome. Milotic just proving herself to be one of the strongest members of the team right there. Really? This early? Wow. Alright. I'll take it. She's already evolved to Clefairy. That's awesome. Thing is, once I get a Moonstone, it then becomes... Do I evolve Clefairy right away and go for the stats? Or do I wait till she's learned some better moves? Because it's that question that goes all the way back to the anime with uh, Surge's Raichu versus Ash's Pikachu. Like, do you get the moves that would be useful, or do you just evolve and let it peak? Alright. TM for a move I'm never going to use. It's awesome. And she doesn't even explain what the move does. Hmm. I did catch a feisty Magikarp. Ooh, a 100 out of 100. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, I Thank you very much for that rating. I'm like a uh, national TV icon in the Sinnoh region now. <laughs> 
and that perfect 100, it is all over right here. No. No. Okay, good. Alright, good game. And that's gem number two. Done and done. And why does this building look like Bowser's shell? Or like the blue shell from Mario Kart? I'm like, oh crap, we put those bushes in front? I thought nobody would be able to get past those stupid little bushes. Who's ready for what I would call a sick combo? Alright, it's time. That moment we've all been waiting for. Dang, what a sick combo. Who would have thought? A flying type and a Pokemon that knows a uh, ground type AoE attack. Alright, good that it didn't miss because if Bulldozer got knocked out, that would have been bad. I caught her specifically as the answer to Skuntank. So, getting knocked out before Skuntank would not have been good. Now, the only thing really that can knock me out is Snarl. That's the only thing that freaks me out. That's a lot of damage. Uh, this might be a bit of a uh, tedious battle, but I think we're going to be fine. Or we're just going to net lose health every turn. That's not good. Don't want that. Uh, so, funny Ember, then GG.